I get a lot of feedback on my videos that you guys want something different than dollar defensively. And I'm going to give you something that I think is really, really effective. Not a lot of people are doing this or know about it, but I wanted to talk about it. It is in the multiple defensive playbook. Now, the cool part about this defense is that you can actually pair this perfectly with your dollar defense because the multiple defensive playbook has literally everything that you need. It has nickel over, it has nickel 3-3, nickel 3-3 cub, dime normal, dollar 3-2, quarter normal, Really, some really good formations. It does not have 6-1, but this is going to replace 6-1. I think this is better than 6-1. I think this is the best, um, like, what I would call, like, pro personnel or bigger personnel set in the game. And it's actually really good with the fact that they've been releasing a lot of Lurk Artist linebackers. So, uh, for this defense, what I'd like to do is we're going to substitute uh, Harold Carmichael here with Lurk Artist into this position. We're going to put Gronkowski on the left side. And then what you want to do is you just want to have, uh, really, you can kind of, tweak this with whatever you want to do from a lineup perspective if you want to put lurk artist here uh you can uh do that you just have to get some outside linebackers but i'm i'm just rocking just basic defensive linemen and i think this defense is really really effective this is three four odd now again you could pair this with my dollar defense if you want to get my full ebook on the dollar defense we're actually going to be updating it with a more in-depth version than what i'm going to show you today of this defense but this defense is really effective because it can really counter a lot of things in this video we're going to show you how to run it against kind of the meta formations that you're going to be facing and just kind of show you how you can kind of adapt it as well but anywho without further ado let's get into it coaching adjustments base align is going to be on auto flip is going to be off and that's it that's pretty much all you need if you want to you can put option defense on conservative one little thing i want to point out in practice mode it always turns zone coverage to match you want this on default okay very important all right, so really the only play you need for this defense is cover four quarters, and you're just going to flip this play, and all you're going to do is you're just going to press your coverage. Now, this is why I love this defense. If you take a look here, when we press our coverage, look how far these safeties come into the box. That is super, super big, a super, super big advantage, okay? And then you're just going to pinch your defensive line. That's literally it, and I like to shade underneath, and you're set up, and this will stop 99.9% .9 of people that you play online, as you can see. A lot of times this blitz will come right up the right up the middle. Okay, it's very similar to the dollar three two free safety zone blitz. Now, if you want the blitz to come in a little better, you can spread your linebackers. And I just want to show you. You'll see this oftentimes will come in. Now in practice mode, it's a little bit inconsistent. That's just practice mode. Trust me, this blitz comes in. Okay, trust me, it, it just does. Okay, and we'll show it to you again here. This time, what we're going to do is we're going to hot blitz. Now, one little weird thing about 3-4 odd is when they did the patch, these guys, for some reason, even though they are technically linebackers in your adjustment menu, they are going to be defensive ends, basically. So, like, if you, you never want to crash your defensive line, and I'll show you why in a minute, uh, at least if you want to blitz, okay? So, what we're going to do is we're just going to basically hot blitz the left side defensive end. So, we're just going to individually blitz him. So, that's going to allow us to send five. This send five pretty much always is going to come right through the A-gap. It's, it's the in my opinion, it's actually better than the nickel 335 normal send five. So, this is really good. Now, I did want to show you our coverage variation from a pressure perspective. So, our coverage variation, we're going to do everything I just said, but we're going to crash our defensive line underneath. And then we're going to zone out our linebackers, as you can see. And then this is really important. As you can see here, the outside guys are blitzing. You need to put those guys in flat zones, really whatever you want. But I like this right here. This is a great little coverage defense. Looks exactly the same as your distance, as your pressure. And so if they block a running back, this is still going to create really good disengages. And you're going to get really good sheds because of what 3-4 odd brings to the table. So that's kind of our basic pressure. Now, if you did want to really send a lot of pressure, you could blitz both of these guys on the outside. This is basically a, a pinched version of spinner. And this blitz will scream at people. They will, uh, let me talk about just like some general pass protection that people might do for this. So like if they maybe slide right and they ID this defensive end on the right side when they block the running back, that would be kind of like a, an example of a general pass protection. Now also notice when I blitz my linebackers, guess who don't blitz? Those outside guys. Really unfortunate that they did that. I don't like that fix or that change to this formation. It makes it worse. But in general, as you can see, if, if they block six and you send six, a lot of times you're going to get pressure, okay? And it might be a quick disengage, a quick shed, but it's still really, really effective. Now, I did want to talk just briefly about abilities. To run this defense, you really, really need lurk artists at this linebacker, lurk artists at this linebacker, lurk artists at this linebacker, and lurk artists at this linebacker. At this point in the game, there are a lot of zero AP lurk artists abilities that you can get. So, and the cool part is the ghost of mutt 
future team that is pretty meta and I still think is the best team in the game by far. It, it has a bunch of zero AP lore cards, and they're also big, uh, which is really good. So like, you know, Gronk is like six whatever, and Carmichael's huge. You want big lurk artist linebackers for this defense, and uh, I just think it makes it work a thousand times better. Okay, so we talked about the blitz, the basic blitz. Let's talk about some of the things that you could do from coverage, but before we do that, I just want to explain why this defense um, kind of at least compares to dollar. So just kind of keep the pre-snap alignment of 3-4 odd in your head, and now we're going to go to dollar, and we're going to run the cover two press, which is the the meta blitz this year, and, and, and really the best blitz. So I'm going to pinch my defensive line, and then we're going to back this guy off. Now, if you think about it, the only difference between this and 3-4 odd is really two things. The first thing is the safeties are 30 yards off the field, 15 yards back. That's not great, okay? Um, it's, it's not actually a good thing that they are that far backed off. And, and, and good dollar players will try to drag them down to where that 3-4 odd is, right? The other problem is these, or not the other problem, but the other difference is these guys in a 3-4 odd set, number one, are linebackers, so you can't back them off. But number two, they would be more kind of in this area. And if you put them down in this area, now all of a sudden you basically have 3-4 odd. So you can have an off-meta defense that uses meta principles, and that's uh, kind of one of the little subtle points that I wanted to make. When, when I teach meta concepts on this channel, you can cross-apply those concepts to anything, especially on offense, a little bit more than defense, but definitely on offense because that same concept can apply to 3-3-5 three, three, flipped, that same concept can apply to 3-4 odd, can apply to dollar, can apply to pretty much any formation that has an odd alignment, all right? Okay, so let's talk about some coverage adjustments. Again, I like to make sure that cover cores, you just want the blitzing linebacker on the left. That's the biggest key to this, okay? Okay, so the basic way that I like to adjust to different formations is out of this little sin 5, and one of my easiest adjustments that I like to do is put the left side safe, especially against bunch, and put the left side safety on a deep middle third, put the right side safety on a hook curl, shade underneath, and then from there, that's pretty much good. I'll just rock with this, and you will stop the majority of bunch offenses that you face with just this simple adjustment. The cool part about this is because you're basing out of cover four quarters, and generally speaking, cover four, uh, quarters, there's a, there are, um, qu quarters are a little better than thirds, in my opinion, uh, in most cases. Now, if you want to stop like the verticals crosser and you want to stop stuff like that, all you got to do is deep half this guy on the right, and then I would purple this defensive end on the left. So you see this is kind of what it looks like and what you'll see. I'm not going to use the verticals anything, but you'll see that this deep half will play that. Now, uh, the next thing I want to cover just real quick is just personnel and depth chart, and then we'll talk about how to defend spread formations. This defense is really incredible against compression sets, and the only thing that they could possibly do to counter this defense would be to go to a spread out RPO based set, honestly. So we'll cover that. I'll cover Bunch Strong as well. But when we talk about abilities at this left side corner position, I want deep out zone KO and mid zone KO. Rondé Barber gets that for fairly cheap. And then at the right side safety, same thing, I, or right side corner, I want deep out zone and mid zone KO if I could get it. Now, um, what I like to do here is, generally speaking, I want deep end zone KO on the left and mid zone KO on the right. You could flip flop that based off of formational tendencies, but that's kind of what I like to do. All right. And if you can, if at all possible, if you can ever, ever um, get deep end zone KO and mid zone KO on those safeties, it will take the defense. It will literally 10x the defense. So it'll take it to the completely another level. It's really good. Okay. All right. Let's talk about like RPOs and stuff. So one of the, the biggest, the biggest weakness to this defense is going to be an RPO based offense. So I just want to show you if I call the RPO here, number one, they're never going to run on this. That's the cool part is you really can't run on this defense. That's what I, that's what I like about it. Um, I really mainly normally in my own, in my own use of this, I use this as kind of like a red zone defense or a run defense outside of the red zone. So if they come out and like single back wing pair, this will stop the majority of runs that you face, and you can literally just run this defense, okay? Now, uh, the only thing I would say is if you take a look at this RPO to the right side, as you can see, it's open. But what I would say to do is you ever get something like this, just run over there, just run over there with your user because you don't have to guard the run. The run is not good. The RPO is what's good. So I would just literally run over there with your user. Another thing that you can do if you really want to stop the RPO is man up 
B with the linebacker. Um, and what you'll see, and you can really honestly do it with either one, but you'll see here, he'll just run out there, make a tackle, and stop, put a stop to the RPO, okay? So if you're really worried about an RPO, just man up the RPO, um, and that applies to most formations in the game. The only formation it doesn't apply to is the trips tight in, strong RPO, um, and all you have, I mean, it still kind of applies to that, and you would actually be in a better position to do that, and I'll explain why when we take a look at trips tight in. So I don't actually have that trips tight in RPO, but we'll talk about this RPO alert bubble and uh, cover how to stop this. So trips tight in is going to be the formation that ultimately they're going to go to. But if you take a look at this, the only difference between how a baseline and press dollar will align against trips tight in and a baseline press three, four odd would align, this guy would be just a little bit more outside than he is currently. So that is important to understand. Now, if I'm trying to stop the bubble screen, we'll just first and foremost, just show you kind of what goes on here. You'll see it's not terrible. It's not terrible. So you can kind of stop the bubble screen without stopping it, uh, without really doing anything to stop it. Like just a simple defense right here. And you'll see here, see how he kind of floats out there. He doesn't get blocked because he's more inside of an alignment from an alignment perspective. Now, one of the draw, one of the other drawbacks to this formation, just in general, is the fact that I can't man up these defensive ends on anybody on the left side. I can't man them up on receivers. I can only man them up on the tight end or the running back. To me, that is a disadvantage of the formation, and that's why these guys need to be linebackers, and I wish EA would, would fix that. But I can man up the safeties, okay? Um, th this is a better... This is a, a better version of 6-1 because you can man up these, these safeties all across the field however you want to. If you unbase a line and press against trips tight end, you see, not too bad. Uh, actually, one second, let me do that. There you go. And uh, you, could, you could do this as well, okay? So I just think you're a little limited in your cross manning against trips and stuff like that, whereas dollar, you would have the full ability to do that. But in general, this is going to be fairly decent against trips. Now, the only other RPO that I wanted to cover, and then I will, I'll actually give you a trip side in defense to use, uh, would be this RPO alert screen. Because this RPO alert screen takes advantage of the fact that, you know, you don't have great alignment here. So if you look out here to the left side, if I just throw this, you see there's a lot of room to run. So what you can easily do to kind of counter this a little bit is just take this linebacker and man him up to the triangle receiver, which is a great way to defend trips anyway. If you do that, you want to make sure that you're crashing down and then you need to re-hard flat your outside linebackers. And what you'll see is they'll run out there and now you have a numbers advantage to be able to actually defend the defend the, the, the main portion of the pass, right? Now, as far as like, let's talk about how to stop just kind of general trips defense and the way people like to use trips this year. What I like to do is very simple. Number one, I would start out like this. I really would. And the reason why I like this defense right here for uh, how most people play is because the because the safety comes down so far, that throw right there is not 100%. And a lot of times it gets KO'd in this particular defense, okay? Please hear me that it's this particular alignment because they press, because they come down so far. Now, the other thing you got to worry about, though, is when you play trips, is you've got to worry about this left side, this deep fade. So this is my favorite trips defense in the game, and it's it's not even not even close. And I do this at a dollar, too, but let me just show you. So a lot of times if they see you do that, they're going to try to throw that over the top, and they're going to have potential for a big play, right? So what I like to do to counter that is when we press, we don't I don't want to give anything away too much. So I don't want to just manually move players and all that. So what we're going to do is we're going to man up this outside corner on the triangle receiver. Notice he does not move in the 3-4 in the odd. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to man up the safety that is over the top of the inside trips receiver. We're going to man him up on the outside trips receiver. See over there? So he's going to get over there and, and play really anything that that receiver can run, any streak or anything like that. And then what I would normally love to be able to do is man this guy up on the circle. And then, like I said, this is the one weakness of this formation. But what you can do is you can just simply man this guy up on the circle with the linebacker and basically play the defense like this. And now you have a middle field protection and you have some help over here to the right-hand side. You don't have to go underneath. I would probably honestly hard flat this guy, but when you curl flat, you can get a reroute. And now you'll see here that if they try to throw, if they try to throw 
not any of the routes on the right or on the left. You'll see they're going to think that's wide open. They throw that. A lot of times he'll actually get out there and play that route, all right? So if he doesn't, if, if for whatever reason, just because of the press alignment of the formation, he doesn't, a little hack that you can do is you can man up the outside trips player onto, and honestly, you don't even need to do that. You could just baseline and press. And now you see you get the perfect alignment for trips. This is perfectly fine. And then the cool part about this is, you know, now we can just play defense basically like this against trips, and it's going to be really effective. And then I would probably still, I'd always pretty much man up the triangle receiver. I think that's the best way to defend trips. So you see, do something like this. They can't run really the ball. They can't run RPO. It really constrains the space on the field, which is what ultimately why I think this defense, just as a standalone base defense, is one of the most underrated defenses in this game because it can truly, uh, it can literally just, with based off of alignment alone, constrain a significant amount of space on the field, and you're going to use the way they flow to the ball to be able to counter the best offenses of the game. So this is one of my favorite defenses right now. I think it's really good. I'm going to show you a little under center, just kind of just basic how to stop the run under center. And it's really nothing complex, but it is just worth mentioning. So let's say they just come out and they're running stretch. All you have to do is just pinch, spread line, and then I like to shade underneath. This is it. And this will stop 99.9% .9 of people that run the ball. Because all you got to do is get out here with the user because you have all of your help to the inside of the formation, right? And the cool part about cover four is guess who's in the run fits? The safeties are in the run fits. So they're going to help you. So you just have to get out here and hang with the stretch. If you can contain that stretch to the outside, you have all of that help back in the middle of the defense. So this just stops a lot of runs and, and really almost any under center run. Uh, this will stop. Obviously, if they're in like goal line or something, you might want to go to goal line. But this is becoming very quickly my favorite defense in the red zone. And honestly, I'm running this against if anyone ever comes out in a pro set, I'm in this defense right here. I think this defense is really, really hard to beat, especially if you don't have a full passing repertoire. And so this defense, if, the, if they're trying to just, you know, hit you with the run, you have you have seven guys that aren't going to have any problem you know shutting off their blocks or anything so i really really like this defense a lot i wanted to share this with you guys because i know i get a lot of people wanting some different you know different stuff off meta it's very simple to run this defense i don't know how nobody else is talking about this defense because i think it is really 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 effective so thanks for watching the video if you enjoyed video like this you're going to love the Patreon. We have over 17 different offensive and defensive ebooks completely updated. We're going to be dropping a full 3 4 odd defensive ebook here uh, soon where we're going to actually go in depth on how to use the defense at, at scale because I do think this defense can scale up to the best competition in the world. So if you guys want to get access to that, all of that is in the description. For just $10, you can get access to all of that content. And uh, I really do think it will make you a better, better Madden player. It makes me a better Madden player even just doing it. So um, join the Patreon if you have not already. The link is going to be down in the description below.